Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie, and I didn't know there was a Joy the Baker magazine. I had no idea. So if you don't know who Joy the Baker is, Joy Wilson started an awesome blog around 2008 and everyone loved her recipes, her photography just freaked out, and so she did about three cookbooks. Amazing. It was one of my favorite cooking blogs and baking blogs of all time. So I picked up her magazine at my grocery store yesterday. Let's check it out really quickly. We don't want to violate any copyrights, just getting a preview. I don't know if this is issue one or if it's just a special, oh, fall, winter 2021. Okay, there she is on the cover. They're promising tasty, no fail holiday recipes. Thank you. Wow them at the Thanksgiving potluck, bake Joy's favorite cookies, throw a New Year's pizza party. Ooh, good idea. Make over your leftovers. Plus, Mardi Gras party food, make-ahead brunch bakes, good idea, the ultimate snack board, and Joy's tips, tricks, and ideas. So she's welcoming us. What else is going on here? Everything autumn. Okay. Thanksgiving's over, but here's her beef and bean chili recipe, which I'm going to use to make my boyfriend some chili. I didn't realize there was other recipes in here besides baking. Yay. Turkey meatloaf. Okay. Collard green pie. Yum. Looks like a quiche. I have some frozen collard greens in the house right now, too. Cacio e pepe pasta, which is super, super popular right now. Cacio e pepe pasta pie. So far, I want to make a lot of stuff from this book. I'm glad I bought it. Book, magazine, whatever. Olive oil braised chickpeas. I tried making that once. I'll read her recommendations and her instructions and her tip that's right here because last time I did it, it was a horrible gooey mess. Chickpea gnocchi. I love that she has two different ways to use the ingredients in the magazine. Cool. The ultimate grazing board. How to throw a Thanksgiving potluck. A This is an autumn Pimm's Cup recipe. I'm not a Pimm's Cup fan. I'm a Manhattan person. Mac and cheese with buttery breadcrumbs and roasted tomatoes. My kids would say, oh, hell no. Spice or er, riced cauliflower stuffing. That's a good idea. And a whole roasted cauliflower. I have lots of cauliflower in the house right now to do stuff like that. Uh, Hasselback potatoes with parsley, butter. Grape and blue cheese wedge salad. No one's going to get a salad on Thanksgiving. Classic apple tart tata. Browned butter pumpkin pie. Yum. I often brown butter on accident. <laughs> Oops. Beautiful pumpkin trifle. We're still in autumn. Here's the Christmas chapter. Okay. Pantry staples. Celebrate the everyday. Yes. Uh, the easiest almond croissant squares. Ooh, that sounds fun. Overnight lemon something, overnight apricot filled scones. Praline monkey bread muffins. That's fun. And a bar cart. Mmm. Christmas movie night. Good idea. Vanilla bean sugar cookies, sugar cookie glazes, etc. Now it's getting festive. Fruitcake biscotti. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Italian Rainbow Krispies, fun for kids, a holiday bunt cake, cinnamon bunt cake, an eggnog bunt cake, wow, uh, spumoni bunt cake, I love this, this is very clever, this is why I love Joy the Baker, <laughs> New Year's Eve pizza night, I'm actually going to throw a New Year's Day pizza day, we like to go for a walk in our neighborhood here in Seattle, uh, we have miles and miles of trails, so we take the dogs and some friends and our hangovers and go for a walk, come back, and have hair of the dog and pizza. New Orleans Mardi Gras, pantry staples for Mardi Gras, um, muffaletta chopped salad, and a beverage called a Ramos Gin Fizz. Here is crawfish boil fritters. That looks good, even though I don't eat crawfish, some other, well, I can't show you everything. I'm going to quit. Okay, that was Joy the Baker magazine, and I think I'm going to subscribe if it's not super expensive, because that was really fun to look through. This magazine copy was, uh-oh, it was $12.99. Luckily, there's a lot of things I want to make out of it, and I'll probably share it with a friend to kind of offset the fact that I paid $13 for this. If another person can enjoy it, it's worth it. Thanks so much for watching, and... Uh, We'll go back to our regularly scheduled cookbook reviews, but I thought it would be fun to let you know about this magazine. Bye!